Hey everyone, Luis Diot von Reno here. Today we decided to round up 10 of the best scoring smartphones in terms of color accuracy we have in von Reno's database. You might see some surprising entries here, so enjoy this video and shop wisely. If you want to enjoy photos, videos and games on your smartphone, then you ought to make sure its display's color temperature calibration doesn't deviate too far from a certain reference point. In our case, and for the industry in general, this ideal reference point happens to be 6500 kelvins, a point where your screen is neither too bluish, too reddish or too greenish, and in fact approximates the color of outdoor light on a bright sunny day. This is the color temperature we use to determine smartphones and tablets color accuracy in our display tests. We decided to round up 10 of the finest scoring Android smartphones in terms of color accuracy we have in our database. None of them exhibit color temperatures above 6999 kelvins or below 6000 kelvins, which is the threshold of smartphones we rate with excellent color accuracy. First we have the Alcatel OneTouch IDO X Plus. It has a color temperature of 6289 kelvins. This phone's display is a piece of beauty, showing no icon or text jaggies even if you explore it up close and personal. Its color saturation seems a bit subdued, but nothing out of the range for one very good smartphone display. Second we have the Sharp Aquos Crystal. It has a color temperature of 6456 kelvins. It's certainly obvious that Sharp brings its expertise in making television sets to the phone, mostly because it's sporting some high quality elements with its package. In particular, its color temperature of 6456 kelvins is ideal and one of the most accurate we have ever measured, almost matching the reference value of 6500 kelvins. This means the white has extremely neutral and realistic looks. Coming up we have the Google Nexus 6. Its giant display has a color temperature of 6551 kelvins. When it comes to the actual quality of its color reproduction, we're mostly pleased with the color balance and overall temperature of 6550 kelvins. Overall, it's a rather oversaturated display though, which is typical for AMOLED technology. But we still have to acknowledge the fact that there is a nice balance between the primary colors, meaning that whites appear truly white and all other colors don't deviate too much from their reference hues, except for the fact that they are more intensive than normal. Next we have the Motorola Droid Turbo. It has a color temperature of 6594 kelvins. The Droid Turbo's display is extremely oversaturated, which does produce eye-catching looks, but it's far from being particularly accurate. However, it so happens to sport a very neutral color temperature of 6594 kelvins. So colors don't appear cold or bluish, as is the case with many phone screens. Thankfully, green colors aren't too excessive as well, so the balance between red, green and blue tends to be good. Next we have the Samsung Galaxy Note 4. It has a nice color temperature of 6667 kelvins. According to our measurements, the Galaxy Note 4's display is impressively close to the reference sRGB standard. Which means that we finally have an AMOLED smartphone whose color tones can get very realistic. Impressively, in basic mode, the Galaxy Note 4's measured color temperature is almost ideal at about 6650 kelvins. That's extremely close to the reference value of 6500 kelvins. This means that the balance between the primary blue and red colors is great. Next we have, who would have thought, the Samsung Galaxy Note Edge. It has a slightly less properly balanced color temperature of 6719 kelvins. The Note 4 was Samsung's first phone with a color accurate AMOLED screen and the Edge follows in its footsteps. In the basic mode the screen is very accurate though not perfect. Still, we really like what we see. The color temperature is also pretty natural. Just a bit on the cold side at 6800 kelvins and slightly above the value which represents neutral accurate balance between reds and blues. Next we have the Google Nexus 5. 
With its cover temperature of 6786 kelvins, the Nexus 5's covers are punchy enough to catch our attention when it's viewed straight on. You will have no doubt, however, that this display is slightly on the yellowish side. Next, we have the HTC One Max. Its huge 6-inch display exhibits the color temperature of 6793 kelvins, which means that color accuracy is slightly off. Whites displayed on the screen appear yellowish, regardless of how high the brightness has been set. But color saturation is within neutral levels, and the color temperature and contrast ratios are of excellent values as our testing goes to show. Next we have the Samsung Galaxy Alpha. It has a color temperature of 6840 kelvins. In the past, AMOLEDs in general have had the reputation of producing overly saturated, inaccurate colors. However, they've been able to tone it down, to the point that it's more accurate. Yeah, it's still not quite perfect, but it's a lot closer to achieving that than the Galaxy S5's display. And finally, we have the Amazon Fire Phone. It has a color temperature of 6958 kelvins. Clearly, Amazon didn't go with a low quality display here, which is evidenced by this impressive color temperature value, which is pretty close to the reference of 6500 kelvins. Best of all, we can attest that it's one of the better phones when it comes to being accurate in producing colors, where it's able to be spot on with nearly all gradients. This was our roundup of 10 of the most color accurate Android smartphones you can buy. This is Luis from Phone Arena. Thanks for watching.